welcome back to the event channel. Wow! And welcome back to another of my YouTube videos. I'm sorry if it feels like I've been gone. I have been extremely busy with my makeup seminar, but that is done now. I just had a huge makeup seminar. If you guys want to see a little one minute recap video of my makeup seminar, then make sure to check it out. I'm going to leave the link directly down below in my description bar so you guys can see all of the fun, all of the amazing things that happen at my seminar. I do these about twice a year, so make sure not to miss out on the next one. So today's YouTube video is going to be on a first impressions video. I haven't done this in a while, but I thought it would be fun to actually do a first impressions video on the new Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Woo! That is a long name. So Too Faced just came out with this concealer and I'm so excited, so pumped to try it out because it does say it's super coverage and when we hear super coverage, full coverage, then I know how we are. We just, we want it. We want it because we want to look like porcelain dolls. We want to look perfect. So like, hello. We want to try it out and see the real magic and especially it's Too Faced. Like when Too Faced comes out with a product, it's like, even if you want it or if you don't want it, you have to try it out. Just to at least say you tried it out. You know? <laughs> so Too Faced actually sent me all 20 shades to this new concealer that they just came out with. And that is awesome. So I can't wait to try it out. I'm going to be doing within this first impressions video um, a little demo. So you guys can see actually how much coverage this can cover, this concealer. Is it worth it or not? Like, is it even approved? Like, that's that's what we're really trying to find out, you know? And I'll show you guys some swatches so you guys can see the undertones. And 20 shades of concealer is a lot of concealer, so I'm pretty sure that you will find your shade there. So, let's get started. my youtube channel then i don't know what you guys are doing with your lives make sure to hit that red button down below and subscribe comment like support follow me on instagram i'm almost up to 100k super excited so i'll be doing a huge giveaway very very soon and by soon i mean like in the next three days so make sure you guys are aware put your post notifications on and whoop, let me start talking and let me start reading so um based on the Too faced website twofaced.com the details on this concealer is it's oil free it can be used to conceal contour highlight and retouch it's weightless and hydrating to skin and never dry it so skin is never dry or cakey it's long wearing for 12 hours it's photo friendly and there's no flashback now that is super important that it's no flashback because if there's a concealer that gives you flashback that means that in pictures this right here or the bridge of your nose forehead wherever you apply the concealer is going to come out white so we are not trying to have that at all the fact that it's 12 hours it's amazing because we sometimes go out and party we go out for the entire day we want to make sure that this concealer does not you know just fade away that is extremely important um it all it also is cruelty free vegan long lasting enhancing and easy to use so we're about to find out right now if all of this is actually true so i place all of the concealers in this box right here and it's 20 shades i repeat 20 shades and if i haven't said it already it is 29 29 colors 29 dollars so it retails for 29 dollars and you can get it in sephora Ulta or Too Faced.com. So, um, it says here in the box is hydrating, long wear, photo friendly, and it's cover, contour, highlight, and retouch with the super perfecting natural finish concealer makeup makeup hybrid, the ultimate multi-use formula for a modern and hy hydrated photo ready complexion. Fully loaded pigments provide maximum coverage with an undetectable finish for a for a look so flawless they'll think you were born this way so i'm going to open it up show you guys how it looks like this is the color porcelain obviously it's not my color because this is like the whitest shade up in these concealers okay i picked like the lightest one real quick so that's how i know instantly it is not my color 
Um, so I do want to say I haven't tried these concealers at all. So I'm going to check which is my color. I'm going to give you guys my actual honest opinion on it and i'm going to be showing you guys how it looks on me for the first time ever so we're both going to experience this for the first time <laughs> you know so this concealer honestly is like a jumbo concealer this is a huge concealer i've never I, I don't even own a concealer this big and i think they very out they really outdid themselves with this this looks like the baby version of the born this way foundation it literally looks like the it is the Born This Way foundation, just in a miniature version. Like, this is a really, really, really big concealer. So here's the comparison with the Born This Way concealer and the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. This Tarte concealer is actually the biggest concealer bottle that I have. So I decided to compare it for you guys. Then I have the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. And I wanted to compare also the NARS Creamy radiant concealer as so i compare these concealers for you guys so you guys can see how big we're talking about this concealer i'm telling you it is a jumbo concealer it is big and that is great because when i check out the price of something i always calculate certain things i calculate things for example is it worth it to purchase like does it do my face justice does it do what it says that it's supposed to do and how big is the bottle because if we're talking about a bottle that is fifty dollars and it's like super small and I know it's not gonna last me then those $50 aren't worth it but if we're talking about $50 for example and the product lasts for a long time like I won't have to repurchase it for another year then that is perfect with me absolutely perfect so this is a glass bottle when I open it it comes with this huge enormous brush stick and just by the look at it i can tell that this concealer is definitely not watery it is thick because the way it sticks to the brush stick like it doesn't fall you see like if it was watery it'd be like dripping down but this is a very thick concealer so i do believe that it will be full coverage but i don't know how full coverage it will be starts with snow almond porcelain vanilla nude golden beige light beige natural beige warm beige sand warm sand honey and butterscotch we then have mocha maple chestnut mahogany toffee and last but not least cocoa so I'm going to go ahead and pick a color. I have no makeup on right now, but I will be doing a mini demo for you guys, showing you how this concealer looks on me. I don't know my color yet, but I do want to place some concealer on my face with no makeup yet, because I feel like that's how we get to see how really full coverage this is, because when you already have foundation on, foundation covers somewhat any imperfections that you have. But if you apply the concealer on your raw skin, with no makeup, nothing on, then you can really see if it really conceals or not. So, let's see, I'm gonna go on and buy the swatches. I think honey, yes, honey would be my color. So honey looks like this. I'm really good when it comes to picking out swatch swatches. When it pick, comes to picking out colors. Um, for foundations and concealers, just by the look of it, I know if it's my color. It's so strange. I think it's a gift. I'm going to start off by placing it under my eyes because obviously that is where we have dark circles and the most imperfections are there. So, let me just see. Okay, so I'm placing my concealer how I originally would place it under my eye, which is making a little triangle. Um, I had to drag it down almost up to the finishing of my nose because I like it to cover all of that even if it's just um, to conceal or to just hide any imperfections now this color that I chose um, looks like it is my color this is a concealer that I would apply um, on a day-to-day -day basis like um, the the color it is my color it's not like a highlight color It's not a shade lighter to highlight and contour this is like basically my exact skin color if it makes sense so by the looks of it it is a thick concealer but not too thick like I don't know how to explain it it's, I feel like it's not as thick as the shape tape concealer because that is what I can most compare it to not as thick because on the brush stick it does look really thick but when I place it on here just by the looks of it it does look very hydrating wet light kind of but like also thick you know 
using my beauty blender, I'm gonna go and blend this baby out. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you guys see this? I hope that the camera is really capturing how full coverage this can see. Whoa! Oh my god. Can you guys see how this side is like dark? I have like purplish dark circles and then here it's like nothing. It's kind of like I have foundation on. Wow, this is so good. Wow, this coverage is great. Wow, this is really, really good, guys. The coverage of this concealer is super, super, super good. Um, I can just tell, I'm not sure if the camera is capturing this, and I hope it is. Ah! Sorry. Anyways, and I hope it is, but um, it really hid all of my dark circles and imperfections on this side of my face. Then this one um, still looks, you know, eh. But this does not look heavy on my face. Like, it just really looks like I honestly have a lightweight foundation on. But it did cover everything here in a good, good, good way. Doesn't look cakey. It looks very, very good. Now, this is on my raw skin. I know there's a lot of people who apply concealer and leave the house. That's it. They just hide any um, red spots or any dark circles. But that is it. They don't apply foundation. So this is really good. As long as you get your exact color, which you can definitely find it's 20 shades, then you are perfect. Um, now I'm going to actually try this on with foundation like most of us girls do. We apply the foundation and then we apply the concealer. So I'm going to do a short demo for you guys, showing you guys how I like it. Weightless Beauty Oil. I'm going to place everything in the description bar that I am using. This is actually my favorite beauty oil. It was in my favorites video. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face I'm just applying some of my covergirl true blend matte matte made um, foundation a little bit everywhere all over my face this is my favorite foundation right now now I'm going to be using my born this way full coverage foundation and this is in the color Honey, the same color that I used previously with no makeup on. I'm just going to be applying this under my eyes exactly how I did previously. So with my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend this side. I'm also applying it on my eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer with my favorite Laura Mercier Shims and Setting Powder. I always recommend this to everybody because it is my absolute favorite. The baby, the best. Instead of blush, I am applying bronzer on my cheeks. And I'm using my MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer just to give me a little bronzy look. This is going to be a super natural look. Nothing too carried away. This is like an everyday kind of look. Using my Laura Geller highlighter and my Vera Mona cake and glow sponge, I am just going to be applying some highlighter on. This is in the color Glided Honey. I'm using my Lancome Cliss Booster XL um, primer. This is a lifesaver. It doesn't matter what mascara you use ever. Like I can buy a one dollar mascara because this is what actually does the magic. It is a primer. It leaves your lashes white, but then once you put the mascara, then it becomes like you know black lashes. But this just does magic because it leaves your lashes so huge. Like even if you don't have lashes, this will make it look like you have a roach on top of your eyes. Like this is just so good. This is a lifesaver. I can't like not have this on ever. Using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I'm just going to be applying this over my primer to darken up my lashes. And these are my real lashes, by the way. I'm not applying um, any falsies today. Last but not least, I'm just applying my Il Maquillage Lip Gloss in Nude. 
this is the final mega book. I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo, the swatches, this review. Um, overall, I really, really like this um, concealer. As you guys can tell, as you guys can see here, everything just looks pitch perfect. This really, really um, hid all of my dark circles, imperfection, any red spots that I had also all over my face and on this side of my face, like the center of my face, it really hit it. Now, the concealer that I used was my exact same color, so it did go, you know, right along with the foundation. Now, if I did want to highlight contour, I would have used a very darker concealer right here around my forehead um, and a, like, one shade lighter. For the center of my face because I don't want this to be also too light. So I would just had gone one shade lighter. Max two. But probably just one. But anyways, this concealer is super good. Um, I do not look cakey. I do not look like... Um, it's not too much. Like it just looks really, really good. Really flawless. And... Honestly, everything that it says in the on the website and on the packaging, on the box, it is very true. So it is very hydrating and um, photo friendly because I just took a few pictures right now and everything looks really good. And it's very true that there is no um, flashback, which is super important. So this concealer is going to be one of my favorite concealers. And I do recommend you guys to try it because I want you guys to fall in love with it like how I've falling in love with it now this is my first impressions my first time using it and i don't know how it's going to look in 12 hours i don't know how it's going to look in wearing it for like two weeks but i do want to say that this concealer as of now as my first impression really really looks good and this is yvette santos approved so if you guys have tried this concealer if you guys are itching to try the concealer then please leave down in the comment section below um your thoughts on this video and if you guys like it would you guys buy it what do you guys think and thank you so much for watching and make sure to like subscribe follow me on instagram bam 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 and i'll see you guys in my next youtube video thank you guys for watching and supporting bye Summertime, sad.